guys, rise and shine, it's crafting time. Thank you so much for watching the replay. Thanks for clicking on this video. I'm Allison with Upright and Caffeinated and this morning we are gonna take a normal apron and make it a little fancy and fun. We're gonna make it fun. So if you are watching this on replay, leave me a hashtag replay so that I know you got to see this so I can say hi, so I can thank you for watching. And if you're watching this live, make sure you pop on and say good morning, tell me hi. I'm a couple minutes early, <laughs> so, so I understand if no one's popping on yet. I usually come on right at 8.30 and this morning it's like 8.28, so I'm a little early. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started because I wanna show you guys what I'm working with this morning. So my best friend's mom made me a handful of, of these aprons and they are made out of drop cloths. And like, how cute is this? Like, how cute is this little apron? It's adorable and she made it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this normal, you know, plain drop cloth apron and we're gonna dress it up a little bit, okay? So I have um, a brand new transfer that I just got and this one says measure stir bake frost and then it has these cute little nesting bowls which are so cute good morning lana um and so we're going to use this transfer on this apron how cute is that how fun is this going to be we're going to use some bright colors and we're going to really dress this up so i'm going to just pull this transfer out of the package and we will cut this up I'm going to go ahead and place my ink mat. I kind of want this right here, just right across the chest. So I am going to uh, just put my, my ink mat right where I'm going to ink this great new design, okay? Now, the reason I'm using an ink mat is twofold. You wanna use an ink mat for two reasons. One, because you don't want your ink leaking through on the back side of your fabric. And this is, good morning, Natasha. Good morning, Mom. This is especially great um, and useful <laughs> if you're doing t-shirts or tea towels or anything, or a tote bag, anything that has two sides of material. With the apron, if you leaked it through, it would get on whatever you're, you're working on, whatever surface. But again, if you were working on a t-shirt and it leaked through that top layer, it would get on the back layer, and you don't want that to happen. Good morning, Kim. Good morning, Terry. Good morning, Anna. Thank you guys so much for joining. I'm so glad y'all are watching this morning. Okay, all right, so I've got my ink mat down. And the other reason, I, I, I didn't even tell you the second reason. Good morning, Michelle. The second reason you wanna use your ink mat is because it is sticky. So what it does is it, it allows that fabric to stick to it so it doesn't move around on you. So it's great. Good morning, Gail. Oh, I'm so glad so many of you are joining this morning. Thank you so much for watching. Um, and while I'm saying thank you, I would like to ask a favor of you guys. <laughs> Um, if you think these videos are, are helpful, if you think that you have any friends that are crafty that would like to kind of learn about the things that I do, would you share uh, my page or my videos with like five of your friends if you have some crafty friends? Um, you can hit the little share button and share directly like in a private message with some friends. You can share it on your Facebook page. Um, you could just invite them to like my page. I would really, really appreciate it. I'm really trying to grow my business and um, grow my page. And so if you have some friends who you think, oh, hey, they're kind of crafty, they might like that. If you wouldn't mind, I would appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, guys. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to, my, my apron is a little lopsided right here. I wanna make sure that I straighten this out. I think that looks pretty straight. I think that's gonna look so cute right there. Okay, I just wanna make sure that my ink mat, see my ink mat's not quite, let me move the ink mat down. Cause I wanna make sure that the ink mat is behind all of the silk screen parts, okay? Actually, I have another ink mat here. What I'm gonna do, I cut all of my ink mats. I cut them all up. So what I'm gonna do is just put a second one right underneath there. So now I know I've got all the way down. It's, it's completely covered behind, okay? So there we go. And I always cut all of my ink mats up because um, I never know what size I'm gonna need 
Good morning, Nancy. Good morning, Alice. Good morning, you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so I never know kind of what size I'm gonna use and you can always put the ink mats kind of back together, like, you know, just kind of overlap them or stick them close enough together. You can use some painter's tape to hold it together if you need it to, but you can always put them back together once you've cut them up. And I find it so much easier um, to, to cut them up. Do you get any bleed where the ink mats meet? Never. Never, never. And one of the reasons is not a whole lot of ink really transfers down onto the ink mats. If you ever wipe your ink mats off, you shouldn't have a ton of ink on your ink mats. It's only just, you know, a tiny bit. Um, so so you, I do not get bleeding in between where my ink mats eat or anything like that. So, so we're gonna go ahead and get started and we're gonna go ahead and ink, measure, stir, bake, and frost. And I'm gonna do, like I said, I wanted each word to be a bright, different color. So I think, let me, let me just kind of fold this under because it's, it's in my lap and it's moving around. So let me just fold this bottom part. And I'm just gonna move this up and fold it under. Okay, so hopefully y'all can still see. So, um, so the way I clean my ink mat seal is um, it, it, if I'm using, uh, if I have a disinfectant wipe that I'm wiping on my transfer, after I've washed my transfer and I wipe with a disinfectant wipe, I'll take that same disinfectant wipe that I just wiped on my transfer and I'll just go ahead and wipe my ink mat off. Lately, because I haven't been using many disinfectant wipes because we're kind of hanging on to those, <laughs> um, I, I'm just using a wet paper towel and that's it. Um, that's all you need, wet paper towel and just wipe it off. Really easy. There's not a whole, you don't really need, um, you don't really need a whole lot to, to wipe it off. Um, you don't need any kind of special materials or anything like that. All right, so let's go ahead and let's pull. I think I'm just looking at to like which, um, uh, what, what am I talking about? The, the, the order of the colors. I'm sorry. I have, I, I'm drinking green tea this morning and I haven't even taken a sip. I've, I've got it sitting right here. Okay, so I just need a little caffeine to get me going today. Okay, so we're gonna start with the teal, Couture Teal ink. And you guys, I have said this before and I'll say it again. I like to, oops, I'm just grabbing a baby wipe because I already got it on my finger. I like to kind of start off the, the silk screen in the teal part and then squeegee it down. There's not a whole lot of room on this transfer to do that, um, but I'm not, I'm still being very careful with, with kind of offloading it a little on the teal and then squeegeeing it down. And the reason I do that is because if you just take the ink and go straight into the silk screen, sometimes, if your silk screen is not, or if your transfer isn't stuck real securely on your fabric, you could get a little bleeding. And we wanna avoid that bleeding as much as possible because it can be avoided. Um, this is, this is a, a self-adhesive stencil, so it can be avoided that you don't get the bleeding because it self-adheres to your fabric. So by doing that, we just offload the ink onto the teal part of the transfer, squeegee it down into the silk screen. Good morning, Tina. Good morning, Arlene. Good morning, you guys. I'm so glad you're joining this morning. All right. So now we're gonna do the word stir. We're just gonna do a different bright color because I want this to be bright, like cupcake sprinkles, like super bright, okay. So this one is gonna be real easy. I'm gonna offload it right on that teal part and then I'm gonna squeegee it into that silk screen area. This one has, this word has more room. That first word didn't have a whole lot of room to do that, but I still did as much as I could without just offloading that ink. I just am avoiding offloading the ink right into the silk screen area. And this transfer, let me tell you guys something else. It has teal in the silk screen parts. I don't know if you guys could have seen that. I'm sorry, I should have showed you better. But it has teal in the silk screen parts to make this, the words, look distressed. 
So there is nothing you need to do to make it look distressed. You just chalk or ink right on it and it's already gonna give it that distressed look because they made it with the, the teal part in the silk screen area to give it a, a distressed look for you, which I love. I absolutely love that they think about that because then you don't have to go back in and make it look distressed. All right, that looks great. Okay, and now we're gonna move on to the next color. And with the inks too, you do not have to work quite as quickly. Good morning, Debbie. You do not have to work quite as quickly as you do with the chalks. The inks don't dry out as quickly on the silk screen as chalk does. So, so I'm just dabbing it right there on the outside of that silk screen on the, on the teal part of the transfer, squeegeeing it down into the silk screen. I love the couture teal. It looks like bubble gum or something. It's so pretty. All right. So I feel like this is perfect because I have seen so many friends who have been baking during this whole quarantine and stay at home and everything. Like everyone I know is learning to make bread. Everybody. <laughs> so if you're one of those people who is, um, you know, learning how to bake or improving your baking skills during, during quarantine, leave me a comment. Let me know. What are you baking? We did some cupcakes early on, or um, we did cookies. We, I think we did cupcakes once, but we did cookies a couple times kind of early on. Um, but we haven't been baking at all lately. Baking, um, I do enjoy baking, but I, I'm not, I don't really like to measure. <laughs> and baking, like you have to measure or you screw up the recipe. But like normal cooking, y'all, I, I generally don't measure. Um, so I don't bake a whole ton. I used to when I was younger. Good morning, Cece. The pink is couture coral. Yep, that's couture coral. Isn't that pretty? That's very nice. And then this is Tide that I'm gonna use here. This is Tide. And I'm doing this on the, the word frost. And yes, this transfer is in the new catalog. So um, this is one of the new transfers. And I, I still haven't gotten, I placed a large order um, when the catalog launched and it still hasn't, it has not shipped yet. Um, and if you placed an order and yours hasn't shipped yet either, it's, that's normal. They're, they're working out of Atlanta and apparently they've increased social distancing um, around that area. So they don't have as many people packing orders. Uh, so it is taking just a little bit longer, but it's no big deal. It's gonna get here in plenty of time still. So, let's see. I think we've all just been spoiled with like Amazon Prime two day shipping. <laughs> Jalapeno cheese bread, homemade cinnamon roll. Oh, I'm so glad you guys are baking at home. All right, we're gonna do a quick finger check and I'm glad I did because I do have some ink on that finger. Quick finger check before we pull off our transfer so that we don't accidentally put our finger on our apron Okay, oh my God, so cute. Oh, I love it. It's so bright and it looks so good. Look at this, you guys. Measure, stir, bake, frost. How cute is that? Isn't that adorable? You made zucchini bread. Oh, oh, that sounds delicious. And then bread in a Dutch oven. Oh, interesting. Interesting. So then I was thinking with this is, so it also came with these little like nesting bowls. And I was thinking how cute would this be to somehow put these um, on a tea towel, okay? And then you can have a coordinating apron and towel. So do these um, in the same colors, 
So maybe we can just do this real quickly. Let me do this. Let me peel off, let's peel off that bottom ink mat. And let me see, I don't think, yeah, none of the ink even got on the ink mat. On the very bottom where I did the word frost, none of that came through. Now granted, I am using a drop cloth. This is, I mean, this is a drop cloth apron. So it's literally made to soak up paint. <laughs> that is its sole purpose, is to is just soak up paint and catch paint so that it does not bleed on your carpet. <laughs> so so, um, so I, I don't even know that I really needed to use an ink mat when working with a drop cloth because um, it doesn't look like it's going through. But we did. And so I'm going to just kind of hang this right right here on this chair next to me. And then let's go ahead and let's do, let's do the towel. We'll make a little coordinating towel. But yeah, it, that's kind of funny that I didn't really think like, oh yeah, I drop cloth's entire purpose is to soak up paint. Any, so I'm gonna just try fold this towel really quickly. I love these towels and I've shared them before and I'll share them again, but I get these on Amazon. They are not expensive. You get a pack of 12, I think. I think 12, maybe 24. I think, I think you can choose 12 or 24, maybe. Um, the brand is called Linen and Towel and they are flower sack towels. And y'all, they come, which side is it on? It has, it's linen and towel, 28 inch by 28 inch flower sack. And I got them off Amazon, linen and towel. But it has the little um, flower sack. It has the hanger, like the, the loop, the little fabric loop right here. So you can hang these. Um, it comes with the little loop and I love that. Love it, love it, love it. These are great towels. They're big, they're very, very nice quality. They're thick. Lemon blueberry loaf. Oh, that sounds delicious. Um, so yeah, I love, 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 love these towels. Mom, Nana Monica made me the apron. It's a drop cloth. She made me drop cloth aprons. She made them for me and the boys. So this is a homemade apron out of a drop cloth that you can get at the hardware store for a few bucks. Um, so yeah. So I'm thinking I kind of want to do this so they look kind of stacked, okay? So I'm gonna kind of stack them, but let's use these same colors. Let's use, um, I think I wanna, we'll do the, the couture coral, the couture teal, and then this is kiwi, and I don't think we sell kiwi anymore. It's a really old color, but um, it's bright, and that's what I wanted to use today, so that's why we're gonna use that. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is this bottom one. Oh my gosh, Michelle, you're so funny. <laughs> I'm so sorry, we're talking about baking and you're off carbs. How about, what, what about, um, what else can you use? We can talk about uh, frittatas without or quiche with crustless quiche. Um, <laughs> what else? What else do we measure, bake, stir? That's that's not carbs. Oh my gosh, you poor thing. Um, I'm so sorry. <laughs> we can change the subject. <laughs> we can certainly change the subject. Okay. But yeah, I'm getting hungry too. <laughs> All right, so I just did that one in teal. I'm gonna finger check before I lift this up. Look how cute that is. That is adorable. Okay, this next one I'm gonna do in that kiwi color and then we'll do the top one in the pink. And um, when I set this down, it's gonna go over this ink. And I mentioned this the other day when we inked but, um, oh, the mask, when I inked the mask. I'm gonna kind of tilt this, but I'm not gonna then lift this up. Once I set this down, that is where it's going. I'm not gonna move it. 
because that bottom part of that is in wet ink. The bottom part of this transfer is in the wet ink. And if I were to pick that up and adjust it and move it somewhere, it's gonna spread the ink to wherever I move it. And I don't want that to happen. All right, so I'm offloading it again onto the teal, or yeah, onto the teal part, and then squeegeeing into the silk screen. Finger check and lift, adorable. So look how cute this is so far. Isn't that adorable? Uh, all right, last one. And then how cute is this? We have matching towel and apron. Oh, isn't that so cute? Uh, the freshman 15 is now the COVID 15, exactly. You're exactly right. Okay, and then there's that last one. And then we're gonna just use a little coral. Offload on the teal, squeegee down into the silk screen. Easy peasy, that was a teeny tiny little transfer. That is really cute. So cute. And then lift that right up. Oh my gosh, adorable. Oh, that looks so cute. That really looks adorable. Okay, look at that. Look at this. So one transfer and we made an apron and a towel. So let me do this because I know this is still soaking wet, but I've got an ink mat behind it. How cute. <laughs> How adorable is this? This would be so cute as a gift for anybody, for any reason. I mean, like, like yes, it's cute for, you know, um, like a, a bridal shower or something like that, but truly any reason, this would be such a cute and easy gift. So you can get aprons, plain blank aprons, not drop cloth aprons, but plain blank aprons you can get from um, the craft store. I know I have seen them. I almost guarantee that they sell them on Amazon as well. You could buy just a plain blank apron, but then add a little towel with this. It's so cute. So Gail, I was just mentioning that apron. Um, my best friend's mom made it for me out of a drop cloth. So it's a handmade drop cloth apron, but you can get blank aprons. I've seen them in Michael's. They're back by the um, t-shirt, like the t-shirt section where you can buy that, that, um, what is that brand? I want to say Gideon, but that's not the right name, but it starts with a G, but the, the, um, the t-shirts that you buy to like, you know, do vinyl on or, or ink on or do puff paint. Um, those t-shirts back there, they also have a section of aprons and you can buy them there, but I guarantee you can probably buy them on Amazon too. Get in. Oh, I was close. Okay. Yeah, it is. Oh, Cece, you have to try it. You have to try. You have to try. I mean, it's so cute and so easy. It's so, like, I, I just absolutely love how cute this is. But yeah, this would make a great gift for anybody. Anybody. It's so cute. One transfer. That's all that was. That was one transfer. And what is it called? I didn't even tell you guys what it's called. It is called Measure Stir Bake Frost. <laughs> of course that's what it's called because that is the words. Those are the words that are on it. Measure Stir Bake Frost. That is the name of the transfer. <laughs> so um, once these are dry, I'm going to let them sit overnight. They're going to be completely dry by tomorrow. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my iron. I'm going to put it on medium heat. I'm going to take a little piece of parchment paper, put it over the inked part. And I'm going to take my iron and just constantly run it for three to four minutes on medium heat with my steam setting off because I don't want steam to actually wet the ink while I'm trying to heat set it. <laughs> so I'm going to, I'm going to heat set it. On that side, I'm gonna flip it over. I don't need the parchment paper on the back side and do the same thing three to four minutes on the back side. That will be completely heat set. That means that all of these things can go right in the washing machine. Um, they can be washed, they can be dried, they can be used. Um, there's no issues whatsoever. Once you heat set all of that ink, it'll be ready to use. 
So if anybody has any more questions, please let me know in the comments below. I am happy to help. Thank you guys for doing me a favor and, and sharing, sharing my videos and sharing my page with your friends who you think would enjoy crafting, crafting videos and crafting tips. I really, really appreciate that. So um, I will be back tomorrow morning at 8.30 a.m. Eastern, and I will see you then. Have a wonderful, wonderful Thursday today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching.